Hey guys, I'm Ajahat Ahmed and this is my 7th tutorial on MS Word 2013. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can add date and time. So let's start doing it. Place your cursor wherever you want the date and time to be placed like here. And click on insert menu and then click on date and time. And after clicking on it, you can choose the formats available for date and time. Only date or only time or only and both time and date and now press ok and it will add date and time you can uh, change the size of the text uh, by selecting it selecting the text like this and then select the size you want ok and that's it it is easy and simple way to add date and time so next thing is uh, page background so how you can add page background uh, in previous version of MS Word, you can add page background by just going into page layout. But uh, in 2013, you have to go to design menu. And here you can add, uh, click on page color and select the page color any one you want. Like this. You can add page effect, fill effects, um, and select any of these. Uh, I think you know that if you don't know click on textures pattern picture you can even add picture in it and uh, many more things okay like this horizontal click on ok and it'll add effect in it it is good thing but I don't use it so just no color or I'm too white now the next thing is page uh, watermarker what is watermarker uh, you have seen many pages with the background text um, like uh, company's name or college or school name uh, background of the page so you can add it by just going into design and then click on watermarker and you can select the style of it like uh, uh, this type horizontal and like this okay now I'm using it click on it and you can okay wait click on it and custom watermarker you can add your own text here text watermarker language text uh, what you want type okay so a uh, font style uh, even you can add your own text here like ms word here and font style size click on uh, you can uh, select the layout color click on okay and it will add uh, it to background of the, your page okay o on every page okay it is really easy to do it um, you can also add borders on your page just click on design and then click on page borders and you can select page borders uh, there are many styles given here thick and thin and automatic color you can select color from it um, okay width and many things you can add shadow 3d custom shadings um, in shading menu you can add shadows to the your text too, but I don't use it but I'll tell you later now as you can see that the border is added but it is not uh, it is on the text so it is the problem of our margin so we can set the margin to moderate and there it is it is very simple way to use borders and just again click on design and page borders and in sharing menu fill effect select any color that you want uh, style 5% it is uh, pattern okay color and click on okay and you'll see that text is uh, uh, selected and background color is added but it is not um, looking good again click on it click on border and you'll add 
border to your text like this I'm selecting it and click on OK and it'll add a border to your text so it depends on you in my next lecture I'll tell you more things uh, so please follow my other lectures thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe me